Laura here. Um, I'm here today to do an ARC review of Jane Unlimited by Kristen Kishore. This book will be out, I think, early September. It was part of the Penguin Game Changers box at um, um, Book BookCon, I think. So it's like one book every week of September, I think maybe starting in October. Um, I'm so, I was so excited to read this. My friend got this for me at ALA. Um, I've never read anything by Kristen Kishore before, but I know her other series is very, very popular. Um, so the premise of this book is you follow a character named Jane. Um, her aunt that she was living with just passed away. Um, and she gets invited to this house called, uh, Atu Revevas, and that means anything is possible, um, by her friend Kieran. And the first section of this book is just her going to this house and like learning all of these like underlying things like things that like pique her interest and the section the first section ends and then there's like a little paragraph that says here um Jane makes a choice to follow one of these four characters and every section subsequent is like a storyline following this character so you get like a contemporary storyline you get, um, you know, and a couple of other storylines. And it's really cool because you get, like, a lot of different world buildings and a lot of different types of worlds. But it's all the foundation set in this book. And I really liked it. I would say I liked... There was one story I wasn't that fond of, which was towards the end. But I really liked all the stories. And I love the world building in this. I thought that that first section was written, like, really well so that you could pull so much out of that. You could pull, like, a contemporary storyline out of it. You could pull, like, a mystery storyline out of that. You could pull, like, a fantasy storyline. You could pull, like, a paranormal storyline all out of these. And I was really, I really just enjoyed it. Um, And I, I was really impressed by it. There is real, there's, like, little, like, I know most people read YA now for romance. There was, like, a lit, there was hints of romance in it but there wasn't it's a pretty thick book too I would say every section is at least 100 pages um and I'm curious to see if like this book goes on and this is book one in a series I looked up but I couldn't find it but overall it just it was a really fun read I liked all the stories I think my favorite was um let's see if I can get the name of it I think my favorite was it's called Jane Unlimited, which is the name of the book, Jane Unlimited. But that was my favorite storyline, and the first one was really cool, too. And that was, um, um, the second one, I think, it was, uh, called Lies Without Borders. So those were really, like, cool storylines, and I liked all the characters that we met, and I just, I was really impressed by it. Um, so if you're looking for kind of a unique story, I would recommend it. It does deal a little bit with like you know it just it's a very very complicated world so I'd recommend you maybe reading the first section a bit be maybe twice because there's a lot of things that are pulled from that but I really like the main character and I liked how the world just kept you know in discovering itself like kind of like onion you peel back one layer and you have one story you peel back another layer you have a different story but all the characters were really really fun and I there was an adorable dog in it named Jasper who was a continual presence in, like, all the stories, and I just love animals that have dogs in them, and I was very, very impressed by it. Um, but yeah, overall, I thought it was a really, really fun read, and if you are looking for kind of a unique story, but that deals with, like, a lot of different genres, I would recommend Jane Unlimited by Christian Kishore, and I hope you're having a great day, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!